Okay, we're gonna go on to uh, V series regional assessment. Start with the forehead. Okay, when we look at forehead course, we look at the wrinkles, which we're gonna treat with Botox or Zeoman. Now, um, with forehead, usually there is a um, convexity here or protrusion, and here is um, concavity or loss of volume and causing a Cleon look where this kind of bulges out. So we could reflate this with some fillers. Let's look at the brow. Um, the shape of the brow um, should have a nice peak here according to the five proportion. And when the brow drops, we could use some Botox, of course, to lift it by injecting in this region. And also here, or we could just use fillers here to kind of lift it or threads to uh, bring it up. And let's see, some people use all therapy. Let's look at the eyes. You look for a bulge there, a herniated fat pad, which you just have very little. And you look for two lines here, the tear trough, and we call it pale people made like groove right there with a bulge in the middle, okay? So we can use fillers, threads um, to help in those areas. Okay, let's go to the nose. Most people, when you look at the nose, you aim for what you call the hump. And then that's the first part. And the debit here called the um, radix and the tip of the nose. So we uh, help with the nose contour by placing mostly fillers here and um, at the tip of the, in this region. And also you could use threads and Dr. Dan is really good at it. <laughs> you could put threads through this way or this way. Uh, our technique here is use um, cannula and putting filler here and we go down this way. And then we put some fillers at the bottom here to lift it and some Botox right there. Okay, going for the lips, she has beautiful lips and signs of aging of the lip are one, uh, the ergo trait gets long. Number two, uh, most females, guys usually don't have it, have these crease right there called knowledge triangle and the lips thins out upper and lower and she has fabulous lips and the cubits bow they can become flat so does the filter and flattens out and uh, it becomes out of proportion in terms of the left and right uh, should be twins so sometimes we correct it to make sure they're the same and the upper and lower proportion this should be about one and the lower should be about a little bit more than 50 50 percent 1.65 um, greater than the upper and the projection um, if you uh, do the standards line drawing from here to the chin the upper lip should be two millimeter behind the uh, the uh, lower lip the lower lip should be um, four touching touching the pen and that should be two so it should be a little bit like this so in other words the upper lip should have lower projection out and the lower lip and then we look at the mid cheek uh, a lot she is perfectly like projected here some people uh, in, especially in asian they're very um, retrusive in, ter in terms of bone structure this is all flat so when you're injecting asian you do want to go and inflate the deep medial fat pad if you do the same thing for her it would be a mistake because <laughs> she would when she smiled this would kind of bulge out like a sorry the word rat <laughs> so you want to know the cultural difference you don't uh, want to necessarily reflate this as you can see it's very nice and full um right there so that's mid cheek and for the neck we do a bunch of stuff we could do botox we could do threads or therapy we could do um comfort blend with fillers here because of the zygomatic ligament separates a compartment a fat compartment on the top for the bottom and you could use fillers and threads to kind of connect them. And here in the lower area, you have the uh, mesenteric ligament separating the lower and upper compartment. Here is the um, jaw fat compartment, <laughs> and here is the lateral fat compartment. So I will show that in photos. So you, our job is to kind of have the compartments kind of linked together. Let's look at the jawline. She has really good jawline. And a lot of people once their skin tighter and jaw more defined, so we we would uh, find the endogonal angle superficially. We insert the needle and then we thread the fillers using king lap this way and that way, okay, to give you a tight jawline. For the mouth corner here, okay, um, that there is a pre-jaw sulcus or a bone, a loss of bone in this region. 
And to improve this area, of course, we uh, do the V-lift using filler first to lift, seeing that, and then we play some volume here. And um, we would put some volume deeply, medial depth and superficially to pull this up. And we've also put some threads this way. Okay, sometimes I project the chin out this way to see even better result for the mouth corner. See chin, can you tighten your lip for me? Tight, yeah, tight. Yeah, like this. Okay, um, she does um, just a little, um, a little tiny wrinkles here in the upper lip, but we're looking at the chin now. You look at number one wrinkles. Uh, she doesn't have too much orange peel wrinkle uh, chin. Um, number two, relax for me. You ask yourself, do you want to project out or do you want to elongate it or both? So we could use fillers here. And we can inject this way. We can inject perpendicularly in or inject from superiorly going down this way and bring this chin out. She doesn't need any of those I, I talked about. <laughs> and for the neck, we do a bunch of stuff. We could do Botox, we could do threads or therapy. We could do um, comfort blend with fillers here.